In this video, we will show you how to use Excel VBA to send keystrokes to another application. In this example, we'll use Notepad. Now, there is a common method that everybody uh, has demonstrated, and that is using the built-in send keys command from within Excel VBA. Uh, we'll show that. Plus, we'll show another more robust method using the uh, Windows user 32 DLL uh, to hook into it and send those keystrokes. So let's start by bringing up the uh, Visual Basic Editor and inserting a module. So the first example would be um, the simple, the simple uh, example, I'll call it sub one. Um, first thing we can do is uh, we need to bring Notepad into focus. Um, if it's open already, you could use And that will simply uh, bring the notepad uh, into focus or makes it the active window because using the send, send key command um, targets whatever window you're on. And that could be a problem if you're going to use F8 to step through your code. So I'll show you what I mean. Well, another way, if it's not open, um, you could just launch it. Once we got the uh, notepad up and ready, the rest is very simple. Send keys command, your string. And I'm just putting uh, the URL there of my website, uh, where there's a forum that explains uh, and have the code provided there. That is one other parameter that could go after the, uh, the string you want to send, and that's a number, a weight. I'd imagine it's in seconds or milliseconds. I haven't, I haven't really looked into it, but that's, that, that's what that number is there for, and we don't really have to have it. It's optional. It could help. And just run it, see what happens. Oh, that won't work because it's not running. And we don't need that for now. Let's leave it there. So I've got a notepad. I'll just bring it to the screen. Now, let's see that in real time. This time I'm going to comment that line that launches the... Um, notepad since I've already got one open but I'm just going to bring it into focus and send another string to it and that's how it works you can just keep dumping the uh, characters there now what happens if I don't have that in focus this is what would happen my keys ended up coming onto the active window so that's why either launch it if you have it open, activate it before you send the keys to it. So that's our notepad. Now, I'll leave it open. This is the um, typical example that everyone uses. Now, a more solid, sturdy example uses um, the user 32 system DLL. And... Um, Let's see if I remember. Okay, so there's a few things we need to prepare to have that run. 
we need to declare some um, functions in Excel VBA that reference the DLM. Actually, if you are using 64 bits Microsoft Office, you have to put that in there. Oh. Okay, so these are the uh, declarations you have to have in your module above your subroutine. Once you have them, you can go sub. And in your sub. My keyboard is not working. Uh, you need to find the, uh, the window that you want to send the keystrokes to. Uh, I'll use Notepad in this example. So to find the window, if you know the class name or the application name, it's um, That's assuming we have a open notepad. Do I still have my one open? Yeah. Untitled notepad. That's the name of that window, untitled. Yep. Just leave it there for now. And the way we send the keys is um, like this. That will return true if it works. Handle the window handle, and that is the constant we declared at the top for key down as if you press your keyboard down. And the key we want to send is the VB key A for the letter E. Comma zero over there. So that's one key I'm sending there. I'll send another one.
Um, you can send you know, PDF right if you want. If that's what you need. All right, let's send something visible for now. I'll send the um, number one. Uh, let's kind of send two keys to our notepad. Notice I, I used uh, the brackets here because that will return the value true if it works. On the second line, I didn't use the brackets because I don't want it to return any value. It will just run without the uh, some, something calling that function. Um, I think that's it. That should work with uh, the notepad and see if it works. Now, uh, the good thing about this method is you don't have to worry about having the notepad in focus. You can actually step through your code and it should work. It should work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the other notepad had an apostrophe there. That would have stopped it from working. There's the letter E over here, and there's the number one. And like I said, um, this one doesn't matter which window has the focus. What I did notice though, from right at the beginning, uh, a bit more work to get it working this way, but um, could come in handy in other ways. Look, it's got the apostrophe on it. Let's put it there. See if that fixes that dilemma here. Oh, ah, yeah. here we go. Notepad, change its name with an apostrophe. So I guess if you um, save it and call it. And text with that, so you change Is that what it was called. Okay. And text and record. And uh, what's a shortcut? Uh, F3, find next, F5, time day. Let's try F5. That works. Hang, time day. Hmm. I don't know what control P is. It's easy to look up if you're going on. And that all these, uh, and the object grows up. What options do we have? Repeat kingdom, uh, black, cancel, control, use the control, and that's how you do it. So what I will do, I will leave some links in the description where you can download an Excel file with both of those examples in there, free of charge, and some links to the forum where this article um, is um, discussed if you want to refer back to it. Enjoy and thank you.